sticking to a goal is difficult all on your own as I started to think about some more of this self-control exercises. It was just the beginning of a year and plenty of people have the thought decision of whether they should set a new year's resolution or not. Just a few weeks into the year, I will bet most people have already given up on it. And if you have ever made such a resolution, you know how difficult it can be to maintain. So what I want to do is I want to show you one more of this self-control exercises that can help you resist temptation and do so in a way that helps your long-term dieting and weight loss goals, but that's rooted in good psychological science. Studies have shown that it can be harder to control your impulses when your mind is occupied with other activities. But why? One possibility is that when we are distracted, we block our inner voices. Your inner voices is a way of talking to yourself and consciously controlling your actions. If you have ever said something like, I talked myself out of doing something, then you're familiar with the concept. Recent research has shown that blocking your inner voice can have negative consequences for self-control. In other words, when you do anything to quiet that inner voice that you get to use when you are faced with temptation, that's going to have a bad impact, that's going to make it way harder to resist temptation. So in the experiment that I'm talking about, participants played a simple game that required them to control their impulses in order to make correct decisions. They had to have self-control in order to win the game while they played the game. So they also did one of two distracting activities. Some participants had to repeat the word computer over and over again. So they said computer, computer, a computer that used up all of their verbal abilities, which meant that the inner voices couldn't come out right. Their own brains were too busy. The verbal centers of their brains were too busy saying computer, 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 that the inner voice couldn't have any say in it because it's ability to get out was being blocked. Other participants, though, had to do the activity with a different distraction, where they just repeatedly would draw circles with their own dominant hands. This was an activity that was really distracting. Try and try it yourself. I assure you, this is going to be a hard thing to do. But importantly, it was distracting in a way that wouldn't block the inner voice just by using your hand to draft cycles, isn't getting in the way of your brain's verbal center. And so in the end, what they found in the study was that participants who blocked their inner voices when they had to do the distinction activity that used the verbal center of the brain, they did worse on the task because they had worse self-control. The lesson here is to allow your inner voice to be free. Be aware of time when you might mindlessly break your goals because you are too consumed with other activities that block your ability to stop yourself. For example, if you ruminate a lot where you are constantly thinking through difficult problems, those might be distracting in a way that blocks your inner voice. It blocks that little voice inside of you that's able to tell you when you are making a wrong decision or doing something that's at odds with your long-term goals. So if you know about this, instances when you are blocking your inner voices you will know better how to overcome those situations and let yourself talk yourself out of making a wrong decision if you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again 
be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go. If you have any questions, comment below, give me a like and just follow me to don't miss one of my videos on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. To your success, your health and wealth mentor.